Hi, I'm Gemma. Hi, I'm Nu. Hello, I'm Jack. Today we're going to be giving you some top tips on how to survive results day, no matter what you get. Am I? I don't know. Really <laughs> So what are your top tips the night before results day? A few nights before, I definitely would make a bit of a plan. I did this for my A-levels. I wrote down all the numbers I might need to call if I didn't get my results so that you don't have to sit there. You've just got your results, you're disappointed maybe, and you have to find everything that you need and think about clearing and what you might want to change and do. That can stress you out even more. So knowing exactly what you're going to go and have to do if it doesn't go to plan can be really useful. And if it does go well, then you think, oh, thank God I didn't have to use all that. Yeah, I definitely think that the night before you just need to have your mind completely elsewhere, you know, talk to friends, um, do the things that you actually enjoy doing, um, maybe have a bit of a contingency plan and know what you're planning to do the next day, but definitely try and keep your mind as far away from results as physically possible. <laughs> And if you're feeling worried, it might be good to talk to someone. Yeah, for sure. So I would definitely say something to a friend on a group chat, send a message. <laughs> you're all in the same boat. Yeah, so definitely if they are in the year above you, perhaps, and they've been through it, you know, their experience going through clearing or something like that, or what they did when they didn't get the results they wanted, anything like that, draw from other people's personal experiences because they're the best ones. So in the morning of your exam results, what can you do to make you feel more comfortable? What I've always done with my results day is to stick to my usual routine. So when I wake up in the morning, I still have the same cereal, I get up at the same time, just try and act as normal as possible so it doesn't feel like a really daunting, huge, big deal of a day. Um, but maybe try and go with friends or with family and work out who you want to open your results with, who you trust to be there, who is going to be useful for you um, and not you know, put you down if you don't get what you want and people who will still big you up if you do get what you want. So yeah, you need a good support system with you on the day. So you've received your results, but now you've got to look at them. What do you think it's important to remember? I think where you open them is important. So important. I don't know yeah. about you, I went off into a different, we got ours by email and I went into a different room. If you can find somewhere to go, like a quiet corner, another room entirely or whatever, I, I'd like to open mine on my own when I open mine next time. Yeah, I remember with my GCSE results, there were just so many people everywhere and I, it was just so overwhelming for my brain and everyone was saying what they had got and I was like, I don't care what you've got, I just need to know <laughs> what I've got just for now. So I went and sat in the back of my car with my parents and just went on my own with them and just like kind of opened them, then went back to my friends and then we kind of could discuss it and talk about, oh, how did you do in maths or whatever, but just take some time to yourself and then go and you know enjoy it if they're disappointing results and you they weren't what you're expecting a lot of emotions rush over you very quickly but before you go and tell anyone or you start thinking of what you're going to do next just breathe a little bit and sit there and process what it is that's just you know happened so one of the big pressures is what's everyone else going to think what do you recommend to help get rid of that pressure i think having a plan for the whole day because results day is really results morning mm. because it all happens very early on and then you've got the rest of the whole day in front of you trying not to just talk about results for the whole day and analyse every little paper that you did and every mark that you think you got where you think you went wrong. It's horrible to compare yourself to people and actually you, you don't know what their situation was when they are revising, they don't know yours, so you should be proud that you did you and you did what you did. Yeah, everyone's situation is so different, but I think making sure you applaud everyone else's achievements, yeah. but also celebrating your own. People have different expectations for themselves and different, yeah. um, you know, what they believe is success. And so as long as you are happy with your results, it doesn't matter whether someone got, you know, a grade higher than you. If you're happy with what you got, then, then definitely celebrate that. And sometimes social media can be the enemy in this situation where you just find yourself, you know, putting yourself right up against everyone else and comparing mm grades but I think it's just as long as you're happy and you know that you worked really hard and you're proud of yourself then that is all that matters. So how can you prepare for a difficult conversation with your parents if you know they're not going to be happy with your results? I definitely think kind of going over what you want to say in your head is useful or even maybe writing it down even if you make a bullet pointed list of just yeah. the key things that you want to say and making sure they understand how difficult it is to, yeah. to have to go through that and, and that you need them as a support system then and their judgment, if they were to judge anything that you had done, isn't useful at that time really. I think just making sure that they understand that you worked really hard, you tried your best and what your plan is next. And also if you can have a chat with another adult, even a teacher, someone who like understands the exam system that you've been doing. You know, if you've just had the changes in the A-levels and the GCSEs, they may not understand that it's now become harder yeah. or you have to do different things now to achieve certain grades. So what are your words of wisdom for surviving results day? As difficult it is, you have to remember that like this is a little step 
in many steps in like a bigger picture and it might not have gone your way this time but there's definitely ways around whatever happens there's lots of different paths you can take lots of things you can do you can end up so much happier in a place that you'd never even expected to go yeah. and that's definitely what happened with me i wasn't expecting to go to the university that i ended up going to and it's the place that i feel happiest now yeah. um, sometimes things don't work out the way that you would picture perfect planned in your head um, but it can still be you know a happy ending eventually you just have to get there thanks so much for coming in today guys thank you thank you very much for having us <laughs> and we'll see you next time bye bye